Hello YouTube, MS Religion here and I'm back again with the video. So, if you haven't checked my previous videos out, go check them out please because they're very good informative videos about Manchester United and transfer news and everything. And I've done, also I've done predicted uh, lineup against Aston Villa which we're playing on Friday. And I've done the score prediction as well so go check that video out. And in this video I'm going to be doing Louis Van Hal and well, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to be doing it. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on Louis Van Hal and so let's get straight into this. Louis Van Hal makes contact with Lucas Biglia's former manager ahead of Manchester United transfer. So let's get straight into this. Louis Van Hal personally checked with former Anderlecht manager earlier this summer to clarify whether Lazio midfielder Lucas Biglia was good enough for Manchester United. There has been claimed. The Dutch coach is interested in signing the Argentine international this summer, and the Red Devils are believed to have agreed personal terms with the 29 year old ahead of a potential move. Biglia, who joined Lazio from Anderlecht in 2013, has publicly stated that he could leave the Serie A giants this summer despite being made club captain earlier this summer. And according to Christophe Terrier, or t -t whatever, from Belgian newspaper Het Le Test News, Van Hal was in contact with one of the, um, the former managers to discuss whether he could make the raid at Red Devils. So as you can see, Louis Van Hal called former Angelic manager at the beginning of July. He had one question, is Biglia good enough for Manchester United? So, um, what I think of this, I think it's not confirmed obviously these are just rumors going on circulating um but lucas biglia i've done some research on him from my previous video because i before my previous video i didn't know anything about lucas biglia i just used the argentina player and he plays for lazio i've done some research on him i've seen his videos on youtube um i've seen his strengths his weaknesses um one of his major strengths is he's got high stamina he's got a high work rate like attacking and defensively he's a box to box midfielder um he's got a bit of pace with him he's got passing um, he's got strength as well, actually. To be honest, um, his weakness is sometimes his long balls are a bit. His long balls are one of the weakness, but he, well, despite that, his passing in short range as well is quite good. His build-up plays really good. Um, he's got an okay shot on him as well. Um, so yeah, that's my research on Lucas Biglia, and I think um, what Van Hal is pretty much doing is he's making the squad depth very high because of Champions League and you know all the other competitions which take part in. And you can't risk any um, one of our first team players getting injured. Um, for example, if Schneiderlin got injured, um, if Schweinsteiger stepped up, he could. I don't think he can do the same job that Schneiderlin could be doing. However, Lucas Biglia can because he's that type of player. He's like a Schneiderlin player. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's, he gets tackles stuck in. You know, he's that kind of midfielder. And I think he's just like a replacement for, a, you know, Schneiderlin as in on the bench. However, I'm really disappointed if you sign Lucas Biglia because Ander Herrera is exactly that type of player. And if you sign Lucas Bigley, I think uh, I'm just I'm just getting really um, annoyed at Van Hal for dropping Ander Herrera. Ander, he's uh, he's forgot about Ander Herrera. He's forgot how good he was last season. Um, and Van Hal, although you know he's a bit, um, he says that oh he's playing Ashley Young because Ashley Young's playing very good football. So why are you playing Ander Herrera? Ander Herrera was playing amazing football last season. I mean seriously, I don't I don't get Van Hal sometimes. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's it on Lucas Biglia. So apparently Van Hal was in contact with another manager to see if he was good enough or not. And if he was, if you if he said yes, he's good enough for Manchester United, then Van Hal will probably buy him. Um, but I, I, I strongly believe that we don't really need Lucas Biglia that much. I strongly believe that we don't need him that much. Um, you know, I'd be okay if you don't sign him because he's not really that. Uh, we've got enough midfielders as it is anyway. So that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And stay tuned for more videos because I'm doing loads of videos today. Please like and subscribe. See you later.